a nutshell, yes. Do you want to explain that? No, because that's going to take 15 hours and 30 years of therapy. So, <laughs> which is a necessity, remember? Um, no, traumatic. Therapy I'm, is beauty. Okay, so I partly feel bad for considering my life traumatic. Only because I know... Like for answering that way? Yeah. Okay. Be, well, no, I don't know. I know some people have probably gone through a lot worse than I have. Okay. So I almost feel like I don't deserve to consider my life traumatic because... That makes sense. I, kn I know it could have been a lot worse. Correct. And if anyone has gone through anything a lot worse than mine, which I'm sure you have, then I truly feel for you um, because mine, I'm sure, is better than what it could have been. Yeah. But for me... And how Your I feel reality. like my life yeah. should have gone as a child. Um, to me, it was very traumatic. There was a lot of stuff that I went through that I feel like I shouldn't have had to go through as a child. And I consider it traumatic for me. And there are moments where I wish I could take it back or change things. But at the end of the day, I try to find peace with it and say, no, I don't want to change any of that. I don't want to take it away yeah. because it's what's brought me to where I'm at. And that's so cliche. It really is. But it's true. It's a reason it, why it's so cliche. It it really is true. Yeah. I would not have my personality. I would not be who I am if it was not for what I went through. So cheers to a traumatic life. Mm. That has made me a beautiful person. I love that. You are a beautiful person. Thank you. You know that, right? I do. Thank you. And your last one was journey, and you said important. Um, basically, yeah. You said it was important. <laughs> well, technically, yeah. I did. Um, a journey. I feel like it's something that I'm on or, or in the process of starting, and it's where I want to be. It's something that I want to put myself on and make it through. Yeah. So you hear journey and you just think of journey. Where, where I'm going. Your journey. Yep. Yeah. My journey It's where I'm going. I'm going to find the road. If I don't find the road, then I'm going to make a road. So we're going on a journey through life. I love that. I we're love that. This way you're not this friend. You're not this <sighs> I'm pretty sure they saw from the first video we're obsessed with each other. <laughs> so we will move on. We probably need to go to therapy for that. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. Okay. Uh, okay, so now it's my turn. So now I'm nervous because now I'm in the hot it's seat. It's kind of scary, isn't it? And this is the first time on my channel where I feel like I'm in the hot seat. Like all my other videos, for some odd reason, I felt like all those videos were serving other people where I wasn't in the hot seat. And now I'm in the hot seat. <laughs> you have no idea what words I've picked. At all. <laughs> You've picked some good ones, though. Did I? Yeah. I hope I did. Yeah. Okay. Okay, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Anxiety. Mm. I think bubble. Bubble. Okay. All right. Jealous. Oof. Bad feeling. Cheers. <laughs> okay. Our friendship. Good luck. With Thanks. your question. Not with our friendship. <laughs> Next. Opportunity. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, what do I think about opportunity? It's always there. Okay. That's a good one. Opportunity. You ready? Okay, yeah. I'm so excited. Oh, I know. I don't know why. Okay. Easy. Oh. Is there such a thing? Is that real? Is it real? Mm. Identity. What? <laughs> Identity? Um, I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is who? Okay. Mm. This is hard, isn't it? <laughs> this is hard. I know how I feel. Ooh, you made me go first. Whew. Okay. Fear. Mm. Fear. A lot of. Mm. This is getting intense. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm feeling like fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, friend. Oh, love. 
That one was easy. Oh! <laughs> Accomplish. Accomplish. Greatness. I like that. Yeah. Isn't that a quote? Accomplish greatness? I don't know. Why does that sound so funny? Is it? <laughs> I don't know. We need to look that up. We should Google it. Okay. Risk. Take it all. Wow, that's a good one. I think that's the fastest one you've answered. I know. <laughs> oh. Knowledge. Who has it because I want it? I mean, that's a phrase, right? The first thing that comes to mind. Mm -hmm. A phrase. You let me do a phrase, so I'll let you. Yeah, who has it? Because I, I want all the knowledge. Calm. Ocean. I thought meditation. Mmm, that makes sense too. Lonely. I'm blank. Um. Um. <laughs> nothing. <Let me> skip. <laughs> <laughs> nothing comes to mind. Um, lonely. I would say sadness. Mm hmm. Oof. I feel like that's a heavy one. That's a hard one. Okay. Brain. Ah. Fat. <laughs> I feel like this next one's gonna be hard. Oh no. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait, let's just cheer. <laughs> I feel like mine were a lot harder. I know. I don't know why yours, I just felt like I had good words. I don't know. Okay, go. Are you saying mine aren't good words? They're very good. Oh. They're very opposite. I just, I don't know. I wasn't, I guess I'm so shocked. Okay. Yeah, this game is hard. Yeah. Society. A fail. Do you want to know what's funny? I thought the same thing when I wrote yes, it. Yes! I love that. The exact okay. same thing. Okay. Judge. Or judging or judgment. Hard. It's hard not to do. Failure. <sighs> Has to happen. Oh, I like that. Mm-hmm. It has to happen. Beauty. You. Aww. Mm-hmm. Guilt. Oof. Um. Mmm. Yeah, I was about to say everywhere. I feel oh, like okay. guilt is everywhere. Ugh, that sounds so bad. Okay, I have no more negative ones. Are you ready? Okay. Two more. Okay. Brave. <sighs> Embody. I thought about Braveheart, the movie, when I wrote that. Yeah, <laughs> the red <laughs> chick. No, it's got William. William Wallace from... Oh. Scotland Irish. or Ireland. Yeah, whatever. The redhead. Is he? No, it's Mel Gibson. He's got black hair. Brave is a redheaded Disney princess. Not brave. Oh, I'm not talking about. I said brave heart. Okay. What is cartoon over there? <laughs> Ireland. Brave heart. What's brave heart? It's got Mel Gibson. Is that different between he, brave? He does. Yes. I guess we'll have to Google this. We'll be back. Come on, y'all. Where are my Braveheart fans? Someone knocked some sense in there. <laughs> She's trying to talk about Brave the cartoon. Disney princess. I'm a fan. Okay, the next one. Okay. Humble. Oh, humble. Not many people have it. Okay, that will be your last one. Cheers. I'm not going to leave you hanging. You're writing phrases, not words. All right, so I said anxiety, and you said bubble. Do I, explain. I feel like I said bubble because the people who have anxiety almost kind of feel like they're in a bubble when they explain their symptoms, the things they feel, the things they experience to other people who don't have anxiety. I can see that. And that person who doesn't have anxiety doesn't really grasp the concept. Yeah. And it feels like people who do have an anxiety about anything, I feel like I'm in a bubble. And a lot of people don't realize what it's like to be living so you just in can't that bubble. Get it out. Yeah. Right, yeah. 
Okay. Next, I said jealous, and you said bad feeling. Oh, I don't, I don't know. The, the instant I hear the word jealous, I hear it like it's a bad feeling. It's negative, which sometimes it can be slightly good because it keeps you on your toes. But at the same time, you don't want somebody around you, friend, spouse, whatever it is, family member, to constantly have that feeling, I get the vibe they're jealous. That makes sense. It just a brings little bit's negativity. Okay. Yeah. Because it, it creates Inspires. encouragement. Or, yes. Yeah. Okay. But you can feel when it crosses over that line. You're like, this is not okay. That makes sense. I said opportunity and you said always there. I feel like opportunity is always there. And you have to learn to recognize what, what are your opportunities? Sometimes we get so focused on the negative that we completely side-eye the opportunity. We completely disregard the opportunity because we're so focused um, on the negative. Almost like one door closes, you're so focused on the door being closed, you don't see the next one open. Right. Right. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. I love that. All right, I said easy. You said, is it real? I feel like nothing is ever easy. Even if you say... I said I'm going to start doing 20-minute workouts because it'll be easy. 20 minutes sounds easy, right? It's not easy. But the thought of putting in the effort to actually holding yourself accountable, that's not easy. That's hard work. Mm -hmm. I feel like everything you want will contain hard work. Nothing is easy. Not easy. At all. Alright. Let's see next. I said identity and you said who. I feel like I said who because the older I get, the more I realize you're changing so frequently as age grows. The more you age, the more you grow. You are never the same. So your identity consistently changes two months, three months, six months, a year, two years. You will never be the same person you were five weeks ago, hopefully, 10 months ago. If you're actively looking at yourself to make sure you're not hurting family members, you're not hurting friends, you're aware of your decisions, you're not oh, hurting yourself. That one too. You're aware of your actions because you don't want to hurt yourself or you don't want to hurt your friends, your family. If you're actively growing and questioning yourself to make sure you're doing everything with good intentions, your identity will constantly be changing. So I feel like that's why I said who. Like, who is your identity? I like that. I know. Me too. Next, I said fear, and you said a lot of. I feel like a lot of people have a lot of fears. It, I have fear. Yeah, like fear is going to come. It. Everybody has a fear, whether it's something you feel like is childish, like a fear of spiders, or whether fear it's of the dark. Right. Something. No matter what it is, if you feel like it's fear and you're scared of it, embrace it. Try to get through it. You have to face your fears. Mm -hmm. Friend, you said love. Oh, I feel like when you have a really good friend, it's nothing but love. It's gonna make me cry. I, I feel know. it. Mm. <laughs> Could be the wine. <laughs> Cause I love you. I love you too. Thanks. Okay, I said accomplish and you said greatness. I just feel like those words go hand in hand. Absolutely. Accomplish greatness. Do what you feel like is necessary and whatever you want to accomplish will be great. Whether it is small, big, large, extreme, tiny, whatever the size. If you accomplish something, be great. Feel great about it. Okay, so I said risk and you said take it all. Hmm. Take all the risks. All of them. Every single risk you encounter, take it. 
jump off the bridge and take that leap of faith because every time someone has talked about or every time you have seen someone take a leap of faith, it has always worked out for the better. Even if that person has failed at what they were failed at what they were trying to achieve, it has bettered their journey and they have still succeeded because of that fail. Yeah, you learned something. So from it's it. a win win situation when you take all the risks. Absolutely. I love that. All right. Next, I said knowledge. You said who has it because I want it. I feel like knowledge is the greatest power. If you talk to older people, maybe, who have experienced more life than you, the stuff they have learned, the experiences they have, it's unattainable. Just listen to the knowledge and you can find wisdom. Oh, this is cute. I said calm and you said ocean. Mm, that that makes me want to go take a nap right now. <laughs> I know. I don't know why. The sound of the waves crashing, yeah. the peacefulness, the serenity of the ocean. <sighs> it just feels so calming. But all right, I said lonely and you said sadness. Mm. Oh, how do you explain this? Because we don't want to be negative, but sometimes you can't. It's real though. I mean, yeah, we're all you negative. Can't shy sometimes away I'm from lonely, it. sometimes right. I'm sad. So, I guess when I hear lonely, I hear sadness. I don't want anyone to feel alone, which is why I created this channel. I don't want people to feel I don't want people to feel like they're alone in this world, that they're the only ones going through what they're going through. We all have sadness. I agree. I have sadness. Yeah. I don't want... You have sadness. We Correct. talk to each other about our own sadness. That is true. We don't want to completely blindside and disregard that we have sadness because that's not... And there's not... nothing wrong if you're sad. Correct. It's okay to not be okay. Acknowledge your sadness sink in it a little bit and then move on from it and know you will get better yep. that's key know you will get better <laughs> i don't even understand this so you'll have to explain i said brain you said fat mm. <laughs> okay <laughs> but i should not judge that's one of my words coming up please explain I was listening to Dr. Daniel Amen on Jay Shetty's podcast on purpose, and he was talking a lot about the brain, the development, how it works, when he scans them, what's wrong, if it's healthy, if it's not. And he started off with the subject of it's 3% or three pounds of fat in our head and how important it is in our body that nobody really focuses on so oh that's interesting i didn't know yeah <laughs> so fun that's fact why. of the day <laughs> that's cool that's what i thought of <laughs> all right next i said society you said a fail <sighs> I, feel, I agree yeah i feel like society sets the everyday person up for failure like that's that's not realistic it's not a real life it's not perfect society wants you to think get a six-figure income go get married get a pet make sure you have kids but they're not really society doesn't really focus in on the true meaning of happiness and the true meaning of happiness i feel like is being with your best friend filming youtube videos to help the world drinking wine, people. <gasps> and I was going to say comes within yourself, but that works too. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Who cares what society thinks? Do you, boo? That's right. So next I said judge or judging or judgment. And you said it is hard not to do. I feel like when you look up the definition of judgment it defines itself as when someone has an opinion it's hard not to have an opinion everybody's going to have an opinion on something or someone mm -hmm. judging someone or judging something is hard to do it's what you choose to do with that judgment 
You either be positive about it or you be negative about it. Oh. And not even, it also, not, I'm going to say not even that, but along with that. Yeah. On, on the other aspect, you said someone's going to have an opinion about your car. Yeah. The thing is, I could sit here and judge your car in a negative way or a positive way. I could say negatively, oh, that's what she's driving. She doesn't mm -hmm. have anything better than that. She mm -hmm. must not be able to afford anything nicer. Mm -hmm. Or you could turn around and say, oh, that's what she's driving. I'm thankful she has something because she could be walking. Correct. And you just have to Correct. learn that. As much negative as there is, there's just as much positive. We're so trained Correct. to think negatively. I agree. You have to turn it around and realize there's always a positive as well. Yeah, I agree. Next, failure. And you said it has to happen. I feel like failure should happen to everyone. Yes. You have to fail in order to realize and in order to succeed, you have to know what failure feels like. Yeah. It's, it's going to be inevitable. You need to go through failure. And I specifically think about your kids when you say that. Because most people think, I want a better life for my children than what I had. Mm -hmm. And you said something about how you want your children to experience. Oh, right. All of, not all, but you want your children to experience some of the failures we'll call it failures yeah just so that they have that experience correct and they can grow from it and learn from it because that's that's how you get stronger and grow correct through your failures yeah one day mel asked me don't you want more for your kids than what you had and i was like my answer was absolutely not and it threw me off because i'm not trying to give my kids a better life than what i had I'm trying to give them a life and life comes with negative situations. I want them to experience heartache. I want them to experience like a hundred percent sadness. I want them to experience as much as they can by the time they turn, I'm going to say 17, 18. So they have enough experience under their belt to know what stuff feels like. That yeah. way when they get into the real world, it's not such a shock. They have experience in it. They're not in a bubble. Right. I feel like I grew up in a bubble and when you get to be an adult and that bubble is popped, it's a lot harder to come back from. And I don't want them in a bubble. I want them to see all the negative stuff so they know the feelings, they know how to move through it. Yeah. All right, oh, next okay. I said beauty and you said you. You are my beauty. You have taught me a lot about looking within myself and being honest and really ask myself, what are my flaws? Because it's okay to ask yourself, what are my flaws? It's healthy and imperative to ask yourself, what are my flaws? Yeah. It's not so much focusing on the negative, but it's being aware of your not so great qualities. And I feel like that's helpful throughout life. I'm glad I could help. All right, we're almost finished. I said guilt and you said everywhere. Mm. I don't know why I could be wrong, but I feel like a lot of people, most people experience guilt for something they've said, something they've done, something they've experienced, where something has happened to them and they were in no control of it and they couldn't control that outcome, but they still felt guilty for it. And that's, you know, it's. I feel like it's a lot of feelings that people have and yeah. nobody talks about it. Absolutely. I said brave and you said embody it. I want people to feel more brave. Freedom. I want people to feel confident and embrace themselves even though they're a work in progress. We it's, can do it. Right. It's okay to embrace yourself even though you're not at that end result. Because in my opinion, I feel like there is no end result. You're yes. just going to keep going and going. You're going to grow and grow. But in the journey of that, just embrace it. Oh, yeah. Be proud of it. Yeah. Be brave. 
That's my favorite. That's cute. I like it. All right, last one. Humble. And you said not many people have it. Mm, I feel like this is something I struggle with. I feel like because I had such a good childhood, I had a perfect childhood that growing up as an adult, it kind of wiped away that bubble and it humbled me more. I didn't grow up feeling humbled because I didn't have to work for anything. My parents did a really good job at providing a place, power, food, Nothing was a struggle for us, which I don't take lightly because I know a lot of people do struggle in their family and their growing up situation. And so when I hear humble, I feel like it's a topic a lot of people don't talk about. And yeah. it's also a category or a quality that a lot of people don't have. And it's very hard to... I feel like it's hard to learn how to do yeah, that too. Yeah, that's what I was It's hard to learn it. You have to... You have to go through something. Yeah, right? you kind of almost have to be smacked in the face with something to realize, oh, okay, I'm yeah. about to be humbled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that oh, was your last one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this was so fun. This was fun. This was... Yeah. It was fun. It was scary, but it was... It was an eye opener. I felt very vulnerable. <laughs> That's good though. It's okay to be vulnerable. Yeah. And which is why we do stuff like this to embrace stuff like this on my channel. So because for, it's not easy for us either to do this. At all. It's not easy. At all. <laughs> so this is a challenge on my channel. Go do something that challenges yourself in any kind of way, whether it's your confidence you being humble. <laughs> <laughs> Let it hit you right in the face. Right. You trying to take a step out of fear, whatever it is, go do something you normally wouldn't do. And I feel like that's it. That's the part of life. It's a secret ingredient. One step at a time. And you never know. It could turn out great. And if not, learn from it. That's the whole point of this channel. Because failures are still successes. That was it. Yes. That was it. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this challenge. Our drink with me. I don't have any more. We enjoyed making this video. So much fun. And I learned a lot. I actually did too. This was fun. Yeah. I like this. Me too. So stay tuned for next week next Friday, 7.45 p.m., and you will get another video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a challenge. So this, hold on. Association, word association. Yeah, word association game. Why do I feel like I'm saying it funny? I feel like you're doing a sh instead of a s. Oh, that's it. You're going word association. Oh, that is yeah. what, okay, yeah. say it again. Word as association. association. <laughs> <laughs> so today today so today is a drink with us word association game <gasps> take 30 okay four minutes and 30 seconds in <laughs> okay so Mm -hmm. Um, I don't Hold know on. how to. S okay. Journal. <laughs> cool. Mm, so, not necessarily one. Baywatch is coming to save me, but. <laughs> can, but you, can you start again? <laughs> not. And just help me make the bed. Another day, another time. Bloop, bloop.
You see how my voice gets raspy? I don't even watch TV and I know what Braveheart is. <sighs> Crap. Okay. You don't watch TV. <laughs> Freedom! All these people are like, oh, I get it. And I'm sitting here like, I don't get it. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm talking about. I have no idea. We're going to take a break. We'll be back. <laughs> Freedom! Opportunity. You said always there. We'll redo that one. <laughs> nope. Unless, let me check my hair. <laughs> I wonder if I'll put that in a blooper. <laughs> if I get big, this will be seen by over a million people. They will know we're crazy. Oh. Should we not use yeah, that we're probably trying to use that. <laughs> they will just know we're feel like we're something else. It's weird. We're weird. <laughs> What, if, what okay. if I get to a million subscribers? Will you still support me? No. Do you really do you really need to ask that question? That just, hurts me. I just that you to, think that I won't support you. I just want to hear you say it. Of course I'll support you. Oh thanks. You're my best friend. Oh, I'm gonna support you through anything. Thanks. Except jumping off bridges. Oh yeah, let's you not know, do that. I wouldn't encourage that. No, let's not okay. do that. Okay. So I was listening to Dr. Daniel Amen, and he was saying, and he wasn't saying. <laughs> she was listening, but he wasn't saying. <gasps> Let me know when y'all figure that one out. <laughs> he was listening, but he was not saying. I'm messing it up. Say comment below. Comment below. <laughs> we'll figure it out. So, all right, next I said judge, judging, judgment, and you said it's hard not to do. Can you say that again? I think I was like this at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ow! I don't think she was expecting the type of answer I was trying to give her. I don't want my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even give it to you. I'm trying to film and it keeps your no Give. Why are we I'm trying to do fireworks? I don't it's know. like I don't know. It's December twelfth. What is that? I want them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we only got three more. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, ready, okay. ready. <clears throat> I literally in every single one of my bloopers, I'm singing. How did like I don't you know what I have noticed? What that you sing a lot? I do. I don't yeah. understand. Yeah. I think in another reality. I mean, is reality? it like a comfort release for you? I don't know. I like to sing. I just know I'm not good at it. Maybe in your old life you were a singer. I believe. You believe in reincarnation? I do. Do you? I think Maybe so. Maybe you were a singer. Probably. Do you think so? Or you should, am I questioning? Could be. Too? I don't know. Oh, What's happening? <laughs> I gotta be. <laughs> I am okay. processing on your channel because I don't know what you use for bloopers. Uh, correct. <laughs> Ma'am. We will be back. Are you looking at us? Are you looking at the camera? No, you can't. You set the camera off. 